Welcome on back. Welcome on to the Double RT Boxing Show for those who are not back and here for the first time. So welcome. Thank you for your time and support. This is um, more talk of Clarissa Shields versus me, Marie Eve Declare because I just uh, I just seen the way in, so I just want to give more boxing talk since this is the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. Uh, and not everyone's probably going to watch a 17-minute Double RT Boxing show. So people might watch a lesser uh, breakdown prediction of the fight itself. So I'll try to keep it short for those who have watched and watching both. Thank you for your support. As you can see, I'm on the go, so I'm going to keep it short for the the prediction. Well, I already did the prediction in the Double RT Boxing show, like I said. Um, but watching that way in. It's the best I seen both women in the, be- the best shape, because in the prediction video I, I in the predi- prediction I made, one of the things I uh, talked about was uh, Marie Eve Declare was a her physical shape, you know. Not that it's always bad. It just seemed like she's just good enough, but she always seemed like she gassed out, you know, like like she. Due to her movement being the great asset of her offense, it seemed like it gassed her out. And I made the comparison, Caleb Plant, how he seems to gas out as well. So, but seeing her in that way in, that's that's the best I've seen her look when she does her little uh, flex pose, you know. That's when you can really see her, her hard work. And like I said, I, again, this is not a... Uh, a bodybuilding we say the same thing for men so obviously we're gonna say the same thing for women but when you question someone's uh, conditioning you would like to think the look of a new physique will help that improve considering that was the only thing I had uh, Eve declare losing the fight I, I have her losing the fight in the second half I have her uh, doing a lot in the first half like I said I don't think she is that much better than Clarissa Shields. I just think she's good enough to do enough in two minutes where Clarissa Shields falls behind. You know, I think she could move on the punch on the move. And like I said, and, and I had her win in the first couple rounds, and I had Clarissa Shields finally what she was able to only do maybe for 10 20 30 seconds in the first half of the fight i have her being able to cut the distance and do more of 45 seconds you know i think this fight is going to be a lot of eve declare moving around the ring doing some surprising boxing getting a lot of points compared versus 20 good seconds of clarissa shields that's what i think this fight's going to be 30 seconds 25 seconds here and there and i think what are you going to want points or do you want the the more meaningful shots i think that's exactly what this fight's gonna be and one thing i always wondered on this fight and i seen clarissa i mean uh because i think clarissa shields is good her inside game when she's able to get close head movement waist movement make you miss and make you pay she's good at it her accuracy ain't that good in doing it but she's good at making you miss and making you pay you know, and she has the hand speed to throw fire shots. Like I said, she's an arm puncher. She's an arm puncher. I wish she. I, I, I'm curious to see how this MMA training did. Did it get her to use her hips and her legs into delivering punches? Because I always thought that was her only really knock in her boxing below her waist, her 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 torque. You know, so interesting to see the double jab, triple jab, cutting the distance off. Can she do? more than 20 30 seconds like i said i I got a feeling this fight's gonna be how do you like the two minutes a minute 15 a minute 20 seconds of points moving and moving in points versus closer shows 20 30 seconds of you know track you down some like two or three hard shots here and there but the thing I really was curious about and I didn't think was going to be able to happen, like I said, Clarissa Shields is good at moving in the waist inside the pocket. 
I didn't think Marie E. DeClaire would be able to tie her up and just kind of like kill time. After she scoring points, just tie her up, you know? But seeing she's in shape, that little look like she got this, this the most I've seen Eclair look a little physically, physically strong. She usually she just looks like, like I said, she looked like a fit mom. Don't want to make that sound bad, but now she looks like a fit athlete. You know, oh, she looks. And, I, and I'm wondering, can she move around, score points, and instead of constantly, like I said, what I thought was going to lose her the match was, she's moving so much, she loses energy to throw the offense that was getting her the points. Because like I said, Clarissa Shields is going to have 20 to 30 seconds of shots. Is it going to be those two or three shots here and there versus the, the movement and points for seconds, those minutes? So if she was tiring out and, and, and that offense slowly dipped, that 20 seconds of power shot is going to be easy to um, see. But with Marie Eve DeClaire looking like she does, looking like she's in better shape, looking like she has a little more muscle strength to her, instead of using extra movement, would she just say, you know what, I'm going to save this energy and just tie Clarissa Shields up? Is she strong enough to eat 20 seconds up of a round? She looks, you know, that's how I think she's going to be able to beat Marie, uh, Clarissa Shields. Smartly. Points and invisible time uh, de uh, decapitation, I guess, of time. Whew. I say that's how the fight's going to go. I say Marie's Eve Clear is going to get a lead. Shield's gonna battle back. Some inside holding to eat some time. I just think they're gonna give it to Shields. I'm going with Shields. I want Shields. Like this is hard because I'm I'm Mr. A. I'm a boxing junkie and my addiction is ring generalship. The style I prefer is Marie Eve Declare. I'm a Shields junkie fanboy. I should say I wouldn't say I'm a Shields junkie. I'm a fan, I'm a fanboy. But damn, I'm gonna say. Should I say robbery? I'm going to say a highly 115-114 Clarissa Shields victory. Thank you for your time and support.